So in Islam, obviously, seeking treatments is something that is at times even required, right? We should uh, try to treat our illnesses, inshallah ta'ala, and try to help those who are in a state of illness. However, at what point do you give up hope? Now, any of you that have dealt with a family member or a patient and have been in this very traumatic situation, you may have been faced with this dilemma of trying to figure out, you know, do I... Uh, do we allow them to pull the plug or do we not allow them to pull the plug? At what point is it death? In the case of my mother, may Allah have mercy on her, for example, brain death um, you know, is, is ruled as death according to most of the uh, fiqh bodies uh, that, that are there today. So brain death would, um, would at that point uh, allow for a person to uh, let that person go peacefully, let the rest of their organs uh, go peacefully. Now, uh, when do you not resuscitate or resuscitate? When do you try to rescue? That's where you need to bring in more, you know, one or two, and actually preferably two or three Muslim doctors as well as scholars to analyze the particular situation of that person. And if there is hope in that person being cured, then inshallah ta'ala, you make every effort. However, if the prolonging is only uh, delaying the inevitable or what seems to be the inevitable from an expert perspective, then you are not obligated to keep that there.